Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to do this simple, elegant but beautiful sculpture painting. Sculpture painting is something that you do using a palette knife and sculpture paste. It can be done in just a one layer like we have placed the leaves or it can be placed one layer on another layer constructing a shape by giving it a direction and a right placement of each layer like we have done for the rose. So as this is a new concept for all my viewers, I have kept this painting really simple and elegant so that you can give it a try and make it yourself by watching the complete video and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. So let's quickly check out the materials now friends. For this painting friends, the most important thing we are going to need is sculpture paste and palette knife. So I'm going to use a sculpture paste from Little Bird Itsy Bitsy. And if you're a beginner, you just need to have two colors. The first one is white, which is named as Snow Spread Sculpture Paste. And the second color is Seaweed Sculpture Paste. So these two colors will be enough if you are a beginner. Next, I'm going to use three different shapes of palette knife and they come in numbers. So the first one is 1027 number, which look like a petal shape palette knife. The second one is a number three. So this one comes in the set of palette knife of five. And the next one is number 1002. So these are the three palette knives I'm going to use. And other than that, I'm going to use two colors. The first one is a neon pink. The second one is a red. You can use color according to your choice. As I'm going to use just one color for my flower, which is white. So later on, you can add any color on the flowers when the paste will get dry. So let's start now friends. If this is your first sculpture painting, you always have to mark few rules of the sculpture painting. First is use only the amount of the sculpture paste you are going to need for a small portion or for the part you are going to make. So this is the amount I am going to use to create my base. So I'll take only the amount at a time and never put it back into the jar close tight the cap of the jar so that the remaining paste inside the jar won't get dry. Now try to cut the paste in this way and mash it up in a very very fine way. If you feel that your sculpture paste is a bit dry you can add one or two drops of water so that your paste will be fine and smooth. And then using your palette knife just give it a good and nice mix in this way. Our third rule is always prepare your sculpture paste very nicely and smoothly like this before you start doing the sculpture paste. If you want to test it, you can simply test it by spreading it in this way. And if your paste is getting easily spread out in this way, that means your paste is ready. Here I'm spreading sculpture paste on a glass base so it will be very easy for me to clean. You can also spread the sculpture paste on an acrylic palette. So now using my palette knife number 3, I'm going to spread sculpture paste on the canvas in this way. If you want to keep your base smooth, you can make it more smoother. I want it to look rough like this, so I'm going to give it just a rough look. If you want to add some color, you can also add some color. Now I'm going to use my second color which is seaweed sculpture paste from the same little bird itsy bitsy. And even this time, I'll take out just the amount I need. Just this much would be enough. So I'll close the cap, mash the paste in a very nice way. Just two drops of water. Friends, always remember this point that to mix your sculpture paste is most important thing because if your sculpture paste is not mixed well, you can get gaps or you can even get 
cracks in your painting so always take time to mix your sculpture paste in a very very nice way till you get a smooth and fine texture so i feel that my sculpture paste is ready now let's collect it and now spread it in this way now friends we're going to start making leaves so i'm spreading my sculpture paste in this way and i'm going to use my palette knife number 1002 this is how it looks it has an arrow kind of shape and basically there are two important sides of this palette knife so i'm going to take sculpture paste from one side in this way and then take some more from the other side in this way so here you can see I have taken the sculpture paste and now we'll start placing it on our canvas. So I'm going to have a leaf over here. Just gently place it and drag your palette knife in this way. Let's do it again. One more. So these are the two leaves I have got. If you want to create some design, just use an empty palette knife and make a simple line in this way you can make more but i think let's keep it simple this time for this time let's make more leaves now i'm going to place my rows in this part so i'm going to create a few more leaves You can remove if you see any rough edges. I personally don't like to have rough edges. There is a one more way to place a leaf that is first of all collect a lot of sculpture paste on the back side of your palette knife and then using one more life just put it gently like slide it gently to the place where you want to place it in this way. So this is also a way to place a leaf. one more in the same way and gently drag it up and then place it if you feel any of your leaf is not looking good or it is not according to your satisfaction point just remove it mix it and place it again just before the sculpture paste may get dry so you have to be quick this time and then place it as you wanted it to be. Every time just scrape it in this way, make it smoother on your base. Wipe out your palette knife back side like this, it should be clean. And then start scraping the color for your leaf. When you're enough with the color, just place it in this way. I should place one more here. Now in the same way, I have mixed white sculpture paste. And now I'm going to use my palette knife number 1027. And using my palette knife, I'll scrape out the sculpture paste in the same way. And then place it in this way. So when you're making a rose, always keep in mind the directions of the petals you want to place for example if you want to place a petal in this direction start scraping the color in the opposite direction so that your paste will start collecting in this way
before placing any petal on place always decide the direction you want to place the petal as well as the shape you want for your petal so here is the shape i have got for my petal and this is how i want to place it so i may get a uplifted side which is this and i can also give it a more uplifted shape and this time I'm going to use two palette knives to create the center. I just made few changes in the center part. You'll be able to notice it once it's finished. Now I'm scraping off the color from one side again. This time I'm trying to make a thin petal. So I'm scraping off color little by little. And now I'm also going to make use of my second palette knife in this way. And I do want to place this petal here okay, I think I need to place one more petal from this side I'll just remove the half of it now this kind of petal can be a bit tricky you can see here i have taken sculpture paste in this way that the petal side is right here so i have scraped my sculpture paste from the from the top to bottom direction in this way and this is how you create a petal edge here and generally this kind of petal is placed from the right side because it has a right edge corner of a petal okay so it is placed from the right side but right now i want to place a deep inside petal from this side and then i want to turn it from the left so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one more knife of mine gently clean it and i'll hold the petal and then i'll turn it out in this way You see, so my smoother edge is at the back side, whereas my rough edge is at the front. So it's an absolute probability you do sometimes get rough sides at the front. But this is how you can lay a reverse petal by using two palette knives. So this is how even when you place a flower petal on the reverse way you get a smoother side on the top like this way you just have to place it in the opposite direction using a second palette knife so i'm just giving it a right direction okay now only the bottom petals are remaining let's do it quick those are going to be more easy the most difficult part is just the center part because we have to give it a shape and a direction. So I feel the direction of flower is good now so I will let it be like this. Now dear friends our white rose is finally completed and this is how beautiful it looks. It would have looked more beautiful and perfect if I would have done it without camera. That would have really let me take my time to place each and every petal. The edges of the petals need to be more thin but for now this is how beautiful our rose looks. So now friends we are going to make the small tiny flowers and here is the same sculpture paste the white color one which I used for making the rose and I tried adding some acrylic color in it and I have to say it works wonderfully so I'm going to add a little bit more of acrylic color anyhow when the color in it is white like here I have taken white clay no matter how much acrylic color you add in it 
because there is already white present in the clay which makes the shade lighter and I do advise you not to mix a lot of color because that may create cracks in the sculpture paste when it gets dry so if you're going to mix color just add a little bit to change the shade and then the most important part mix it very well like this Now just clean our knives, scrape it all, and now just level it into directions. Now this time I'm going to use my palette knife number 5. This is the smallest palette knife in, in the set. And then using this palette knife, start scraping the clay from one corner in this way. So when you do this, you'll start observing a petal shape on the edge of the palette knife you have to place the petal in this way it's very simple just scrape the sculpture paste in the right direction and you get a petal beautiful petal like this if you need do use two palette knives Okay, each time you can notice that I get a small petal shape like this and then either I place it directly or sometimes I also use my second palette knife to do that. Each time when you create a petal or start creating a flower, make sure that your palette knife is absolutely clean and then you start taking the sculpture paste in your palette in this way okay you can see i have got a petal shape here i'm going to place it in this way let's make some more color i think two flowers at this side and three on this side looks pretty good now finally, this is how our rose and the yellow flowers look. As I'm not going to make any other changes in the color of these small flowers, so I'm going to place this tiny pearl drops at the center of these flowers and to place them, I'm going to use Fabrica glue. I'm just adding this glue to take precaution so that the pearl may not fall out later on. Then with the help of a tweezer, I lift up the pearl in this way and place it exactly where I want it to be and then gently press it in this way. Place it and gently press it. Feel it's just perfect this is how beautiful the pearls look so now friends as i have said to you in the beginning of this video that we are going to use white and green color of clay to make this painting look minimalistic but i definitely think that we should start coloring this clay i have let it get dry for 24 hours now and i think adding just a little bit of light pink color to the rose and doing the background would make this painting look phenomenal so let's start with it now for the base i have decided to do ultramine a blue color shade so what you have to do is simply add a little bit of ultramine blue color in white and this is how the color should look and using a brush start 
coloring the base. If you have sculpture paste of any color, you can use it as a base. After placing the color, I just use an empty brush and drag the color to the surrounding. That also gives a very pretty effect and smoothens the color. So now this is how it looks. So let's start coloring the rose. So now friends, I'm going to use just a little bit of light pink in my paintbrush and start coloring the rose from inside out. I'm not just plainly going to color the rose as light pink. I'm just going to give a light shade to the flower and the rest I'm going to keep it as it is. Just use the light pink color to color the depth of the flower first. Then wash your brush and gently merge that color in this way. You don't need to color the complete petal. And this is how you can easily do the shading of this rose. So in the same way, I'm going to color from this side also and then show you the complete look of it. Okay, now friends, I have finally completed doing my coloring part and this is how beautiful our sculpture painting looks. You can also try doing it in so many different ways. You can also add a stencil on the background. You can also give this kind of a rough finish or you can also do a beautiful cone work to increase the beauty of this painting. So this is how a stencil would look. You can add a stencil either after completing a painting or before starting your painting. You can also do a cone work using any texture paste or the same sculpture paste, filling it up in a cone using the ceramic cone. So this is how you can add a string of pearls on the border of any painting. I'm going to use Febicryl Fabrica glue. Simply place the line of glue on the border of the painting in this way and then gently place the line of pearls on the fabric of glue. Hold the complete string in this way and tap 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 the lines of pearls so that they may get mixed up completely on the glue in this way. Let them get dry for some time and then you can easily pull out the string and the line will be in the same position. Do the same process for the next border also. Hold the string of pearls and gently place it. Hold your string in this way and gently place it on the glue. Just tap 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 the pearls gently on the glue and it will get fixed easily. After 10 minutes the glue has got dried up completely. So now you can see this edges of the string. Gently pull out the string without disturbing the pearls and I have got my string you can see here. I'm holding this one and I'll just gently pull out the string. The pearls should remain in the same place. So we have finally got our border. So friends, finally, this is how beautiful and elegant our sculpture painting looks. I hope this video would be really helpful for you as this is a very new concept and we have done a very simple and beautiful painting. So friends, do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this painting and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. Enjoy your day and thank you for watching.